We're working new details in a story we've been tracking for months, teens and vaping. More teens now use e-cigarettes than conventional tobacco. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control. And a new law went into effect this month in Rhode Island to address the e-cigarette craze. Eyewitness News anchor Patrick Little talked to one of the architects of that law and sat down with local students to find out firsthand how common vaping has become. As of January 1st, e-cigarette smoking is banned on school grounds in Rhode Island, but students I spoke to say that hasn't stopped their classmates. They like leave class and like go to the bathroom and like do it there, or they'll just like pull it out in class and do it. Michaela Soares is a sophomore at Mount Hope High School in Bristol. You'd barely notice them. There's one that looked like little USB ports and stuff like that. They're like really disguisable, so even in like school and stuff, it's really easy for kids to just pull one out and like vape easy to hide and apparently also easy to buy. Honestly, so easy. Like if you just go to the right stores, I guess they kind of don't care how old you are to sell these things to. So they'll just basically sell them to you no matter how old you are. Allie Revis is a senior also at Mount Hope. Well, I see people like try and hide it in school and then also I see people outside of school just like constantly rip a jewel or a fix or a pulse or sometimes even like a big vape and it just produces a lot of smoke and it's just so bad for them. How many people do you think are doing it? Out of my friends, probably at least 8 out of 10. It's pretty common and I'm like the one person who's like, just like, stop. Like, it's, it's kind of annoying, honestly. But have you tried it? I have tried it. Like, I had took like a, like a hit of it, basically. And I'm like, this is like nothing special. So why even bother have a, like have something of your own and do it constantly when it's just going to lead to problems? And that's what some Rhode Island lawmakers, like Representative Teresa Tanzi, are trying to prevent when it comes to kids and vaping. Any more problems? I think now we need to start treating e-cigarettes and all of these vaping devices as we have uh, treated tobacco for all of these years. Tanzi sponsored a new law that took effect this month, among other items that prohibits anyone from smoking e-cigarettes on school grounds. I've gotten very positive feedback, you know, again from parents as well. I don't think there'll be any problems with implementing it. I think the schools are going to appreciate that they now have a definitive rule in place. I feel like a lot of kids do it to be cool and like they know what's in it or like they think they know what's in it and then they end up like getting addicted to it. But then there's also a lot of kids that are just like naive to it. Of course, Mount Hope High School, far from the only school dealing with this issue. The latest risk behavior survey from the Rhode Island Department of Health found nearly one out of five high schoolers used e-cigarettes in 2015. I'm Patrick Little, Eyewitness News. New details now in a story you saw only on Eyewitness News, teens and vaping. At 5, you heard from local high school students on just how often they see other teens using e-cigarettes on a daily basis. And new at 6, we're breaking down a new law designed to crack down on the e-cigarette craze. Eyewitness News, news anchor Patrick Little has the details. It didn't take long in my candid conversation with two Mount Hope High School students to learn how common vaping has become in local schools. There's so many different kinds, and there, you can literally find it at your, like, a convenience store on the corner. And it's kind of sad, honestly, now. <laughs> they get there everywhere. I've also seen people that, like, just openly take it out in class, and, like, nobody even is phased by it. And it's like, I don't want to see that. Like, I don't want to see somebody doing that. Like, that's not healthy. Stories like this from local students are exactly why e-cigarettes are squarely in the sights of Rhode Island lawmakers. The House has passed legislation, I think, the last two years that would ban the use of e-cigarettes indoors. State Rep. Teresa Tanzi says that piece of legislation hasn't become law in Rhode Island yet, but a different bill she sponsored just went into effect this month banning e-cigarettes in schools. Um, I've heard stories from parents in my district who've said that their children, um, their freshmen in high school, are afraid to go into the bathrooms. They're intimidated and they don't want to be in an environment where those devices are being used. The new law also prohibits the distribution of free tobacco products and vaping products to anyone under the age of 18. They use like bubble gum, for example, um, and cotton candy. Uh, I feel like they're being marketed directly to children. Another statute in this new law, all of the liquids that are used in e-cigarettes must be sold with child-resistant packaging. We needed to, since they are in fact poisonous, um, be able to put safeguards on them for consumer protection. If a dog were to get into the packaging um, or a small child, it could be deadly. 
The number of children under six years old poisoned by the nicotine in e-cigarettes is up dramatically. According to the National Poison Data System, on average, a poison center receives a call about a young child exposed to an e-cigarette or liquid nicotine every three hours. I'm Patrick Little, Eyewitness News.